Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I'm going to be talking about Season 5, Episode 10, Special Delivery, starring Stephen Dunn and Beatrice Strait. And I had some hopes for Special Delivery going into it. It's written by Ray Bradbury, which is interesting, and directed by Norman Lloyd, uh, people who have some great talent. Uh, but this definitely feels like an odd episode for Alfred Hitchcock Presents. It feels more like something that should be an Outer Limits episode. Even more importantly, in my opinion, Special Delivery is just not very good. My problem with this episode is that it could have been a very silly 50s or 60s type B sci-fi movie, but it takes itself so seriously for such a strange premise, and it's actually quite boring for a lot of the episode. There's also no real suspense or tension that Alfred Hitchcock Presents is known for, in my opinion. So, this episode starts with a kid named Tom, and he gets a special package of mushrooms that he is supposed to grow, and he's very excited about this, um, maybe more so than his parents. In the next scene, we see his father named Bill talking to a man named Roger, who says he has a bad feeling and that people have been disappearing a lot lately, and he tells Bill to be on alert for anything strange. So, Bill is talking to his wife Cynthia about this when they are interrupted by their son Tom, who... Uh, comes in with the mushrooms and the mother Cynthia gets very upset and says she doesn't like them for so reason and things get even weirder when we find out that Roger has vanished. So Bill goes uh, to investigate the situation by talking to Roger's wife but his disappearance just seems not to make a whole lot of sense kind of like parts of this episode. So we also find out that Roger's son has the mushrooms as well and None of this is interesting at all, in my opinion. So things get even more weird when Roger sends Bill a telegram warning him not to accept any packages. And then Roger is found suddenly and supposedly okay. And now we are just told all of this. We don't get to see any of it play out. And I thought it was all pretty boring. So Bill and Cynthia start putting things together as a lot of the kids have these mushrooms. So there must be some kind of connection, which is something I figured out right at the beginning of the episode. So Bill thinks somehow this is a plot by some Martians to take over. Cynthia thinks the whole thing is kind of crazy. Bill comes up with this theory that if the mushrooms are eaten, you could turn into some kind of Martian. Don't ask me, I'm about checked out at this point, to be honest. At this point, Bill goes into the basement uh, and his son Tom is there and we find out he's been eating the mushrooms. And for some reason, maybe he's hypnotized, I'm not really sure. Bill starts eating them as well and that's it. That's our ending, which I think is supposed to be scary, but I just thought it was silly and there was no real tension or anything in this scene. But at least now the good news is the episode is over. I think the problem is that this episode just feels very flattened by the numbers. You have a way out there plot like this and we don't get much of anything. Most of the episode is just explaining theories and the mystery is very predictable and not interesting. The acting, with the exception of the actor who played Roger, isn't very good either, in my opinion, which is unusual for Alfred Hitchcock Presents. But I guess, to be fair to the actors, there's only so much you could do with uh, this plot anyway. So overall, I would say to skip special delivery unless you have to watch every single episode of the show. It's really not worth your time, in my opinion. It's not the absolute worst episode of the show. There's a few good ideas here and there. And I guess overall, it's uh, it's kind of watchable. But I'm going to give a special delivery a 1.5 out of 5. One of the worst Alfred Hitchcock episodes presents, in my opinion. So, as always, thanks very much for your support, and thanks for watching.